Um, Philippe Garcenti is a French media analyst, and he is a deputy mayor in uh, in a small town in France. Uh, kind enough to join us live uh, from France. Uh, Philippe, welcome uh, to the show. Thanks for taking time to join us this morning. Uh, and uh, could you give us a breakdown exactly what's happening in regards to the fire at Notre Dame, sir? Hi, good morning. Well, um, as everybody knows now in the world, uh, Notre Dame was on fire yesterday. And, um, well, it's very problematic because, you know, yes, I don't know if you know, but yesterday I was on Fox News and I was interrupted when I was commenting what was happening. Uh, you need to know that we have desecrations of churches for months in France each and every day. Mm. I mean, it has been uh, tremendous. You know, uh, the Basilique of Saint Denis, where the kings of France are buried, was also desecrated uh, last week. Saint Sulpice was burnt last month. So, I mean, we've seen that uh, for the past year very often. And yesterday, when it happened, um, instead of just questioning and asking what's happening, what was happening yesterday, um, all the commentators and the politicians came out and said it's uh, it's an accident. It's um, there. Was, it was not intentional. Yeah. I don't know if it was intentional, but I think it's very strange that we have all these anti-Christian uh, yeah. acts for these past months. Yeah. And something very important: you need to know that in France we have lots of regulations concerning um, security, uh, fire. Uh, security and everything. So I find it very, very problematic to believe that this could have had, we could have had this fire on such a very sensitive uh, historic yeah. site. Yeah, Philippe, you're very kind. Well, by the way, what's the, what's the name of the town uh, that you're deputy mayor in, if I may? Uh, uh, in Neuilly. Neuilly is a city where Nicolas Sarkozy was the mayor. Okay. Just next to Paris. Okay, and thanks, and stay with us, and stay, and stay, stay yeah, stay with us, Philippe, because I hear exactly what you're saying. And I remember I was watching. I watched yesterday, and a, and, a, and a shout out with with great respect to a great journalist, Shep Smith. Uh, Shep's a friend and from Fox News. I understand that, but I think everybody's so sensitive now, Philippe, uh, that they have to be very, very cautious. Uh, uh, well, do we we still got you, Philippe. We still got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great. No, listen, yeah, I'm telling you. But on this. No, no, it's okay to, and, and, and when you're, you have the magnitude of the millions that Shep has or the millions of everybody else, we are a very vital radio station, the flagship station here of Salem Media, but not millions, not so much. So I can really push the envelope a little bit because I am suspicious as well. This is Piscopo talking. There's nobody else. So you and I can have that conversation, Philippe, and we appreciate it. Tell us what exactly, what, and, and also, and I got to tell you this, and I speak to you listening to the radio now. Now, you're, we have a very loyal audience, Philippe, and I think we have the same mindset. I think there, there is, there's a, they're, they're going after Christians in a big way. They're trying to wipe Christianity off the map. Now, I'm going to say that, and that's what I said. Does that fire, does the fire of Notre Dame, is it suspicious in any way, shape, or form, being as objective as you can be, Philippe? Look, the only thing I can tell you is that you cannot... I mean, as soon as it happened, even when, even before the firefighters were there, you cannot tell us it's uh, non-intentional or intentional. And the problematic thing is that the fact that they're pushing the idea that it was non-intentional tells you everything. So, of course, I have no more information than the firefighters and the investigation teams, but I want to be free to say this and to question and to relate this to facts that happened last week um, and last month. I mean, Basilique Saint-Denis is something very big in France, and it was desecrated. saint sulpice was, was burnt last month. I mean, and each and every week and day you have churches desecrated in France. So, I mean, you have the right to relate this and to ask a question. And uh, that's it. F Philippe Garcenti, fair and enough. Also yes. one, Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Yeah. Yes. And one la one other thing, some some people said on TV yesterday that the fire started from two different points, from two different places at the church. Hmm. It doesn't look something like uh, non-intentional. If we had two starting points of the fire, it may come out as an international as an intentional fire. So, again, I have no 
precise information, and nobody has precise information. But I'm not saying it's criminal, but I'm not saying you cannot say it's not criminal. Yeah, I you to- have to wait. Yep. And the- yep. Due respect to all the great journalists that you talked to yesterday, and, and I have immense respect for them all. I, I agree with you, Philippe. I hear, especially, hey, it's, a, it's, it's Holy Week. I mean, isn't that a little too coincidental, sir? Of course, it's huge. It's huge, and well, and you know, some something which not which may have not been mentioned is that just the day before yesterday, a French kid uh, made a joke about Mecca, you know, on the, on the, on Twitter, and he got some uh, thousands of death threats. Okay, just because he made just a old joke. Yeah. And after what happened, you had lots of Twitters and Facebook people who wrote, "You see, you made you made fun of Mecca the day before, then the day after." Well, um, yeah. Notre Dame is on fire. So, of course, I mean, you have to understand what is the state of mind in France. Yeah. We are. We have remember that we are yeah. after Charlie Hebdo and all this. Yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. To, and remember also, yeah. last year, yeah. someone wanted was caught in front of Notre Dame and wanted to 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 make it explode. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it's eh. you and I. You you and I could talk about it, Philippe. I just I want to speak. I want to kind of, if I may, stick up for some of the American journalists because you and I could speak on this radio station because we're live and we're local in New York and it's and it's Piscopo and they know me and we're just. You and I are just chatting about, uh, you know, we don't want to accuse anybody, but we, you know, we know what's going on. We know certainly what's going on in Europe. But when you're on a bigger, bigger scale on on national news or international news, I know they have to they really do have to be more careful. But listen, we appreciate your take on it. But stay with me now. What what is? Do they know anything about it? I mean, how it started, where it started. Uh, it, it's just so curious. Did did they not, Philippe, have a sprinkler system in Notre Dame? Strange. Everything is strange. Yeah. Uh, of course. Yeah. All right. I mean, I mean, and you have to understand, I mean, regulations in France, and I know regulations are very tough also in America, but regulations, you know, f- when you're building, uh, uh, when you're building uh, something or when you're uh, renovating or re- whatever, I mean, no, you're, you need to have all these authorizations. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, something comes out and... Yeah. Yeah. Big fire destruction of the Notre Dame. I mean, yeah. that's to me, that's very strange. All right. Very, very strange. And, Philip, let me ask you this, too. Uh, again, this is Piscopo. This is nobody else. This is Joe on the radio uh, to a very, very uh, loyal, very, very uh, astute audience. They're trying, I mean, and now I'm going to try to be politically correct as I can. But there is a, a direct attempt in, in France, and I'm going to be a little melodramatic here because I am a, uh, I'm a Christian, I'm a dedicated uh, Christian, but there seems to be uh, in, in France, and correct me if I'm wrong, I may be completely wrong here, that they're trying to take away Christianity uh, in, in, in France. Am I wrong when I say that, Philippe? Oh, no, you're definitely right. And I must tell you something, the Pope is not helping very much, you know. Um, I mean... As a, as a Christianity has been taken away from the Christ, from the French society, as they're taking it out from the Middle East. I mean, look the way the Christians are treated in in Lebanon. Look the way the way they are treated uh, in Judea and Samaria yeah. by the Palestinian Authority. Yeah. I mean, as a, I mean, the, I mean, it's it's absurd. You know, we're we're bending over, and the Christianity is really in um, in a very weak. Uh, position now, even in France, which is insane. I mean, uh, as I said, mm-hmm. and the Pope is not helping very much by by his attitude, you know. Mm-hmm. And, but you will, you will give that this may have very well been an accident. You will allow that, right, Philippe? Oh, sorry, I missed missed what you said. I said you will. You'll admit that this could very well have been an accident and not a direct uh, act of vandalism. Of okay. Hey, uh, Philippe uh, Carcenti. It could have. Been. Yep. And Mr. Deputy Mayor, very, very interesting, and uh, thanks for taking the time and joining us this morning. And if you hear anything, a a cause of the fire, you got the number. This is our number, Philippe. Uh, Please call any time, and we're sending our love, our prayers, and all the very best. I mean, it's a yeah, indeed, to to all of our our brothers and sisters in the beautiful country of France, Philippe. Thank you so much, Mr. Deputy Mayor. Thank you, sir. Thanks, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. So, so.